Hello guys, we're back. Um, welcome. Tonight we are going to make, get ready for this, peanut butter no-bake eyeballs. Yep, the kids are going to love them. These eyeballs are going to be so delicious and scary, you're not going to know whether to eat them or to scream. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take half a cup of smooth peanut butter and we're going to just place that in the bowl. These are awesome, guys. Um, you can do these for party favors for a Halloween party. You can do this just for the little kiddos. Um, you can do these as treats to give out. You can wrap them individually. You can pretty much do these for anything. Um, and they are so simple. That's the best part. Just so take a half a cup of peanut butter. And I'm going to grab my vanilla. Um, Mexican vanilla. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. Stuff is the best. Um, and it's just as expensive as Adam's um, pure vanilla extract. But this is delicious. It's so much better. Anyway, half a, or one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to I totally forgot to have my butter melted, but that's okay. I'm going to melt that there. And then we're going to take one and one quarter cup of confectioner's sugar. And we're just going to put that right along in that bowl. And I forgot my butter, so give me one second and I'll get my butter um, softened. And it's three, it's two tablespoons of butter, and then we just mix it up, and I'll come right back. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my melted butter, softened, it doesn't matter, either way, and put it right into that bowl. Okay. And then we're just going to mix it up. It's that easy. You can put this in a mixer if you want. Um, it's pretty easy just to do by hand. Uh, you just, it's going to become like a, a dough, okay? And uh, you just want to work it in there real right well. Try not to fling it everywhere, like me. And a fork may be a little bit easier. Okay. And then we're going to take our clean hands, and we're just going to form this into balls. Um, kind of about that size. I'm going to place those on an ungreased cookie sheet. If you're making these for a party, I would double or even possibly triple this recipe. kids can make these, they can help. I mean, there are so many possibilities. It's not even believable. Alright. So I'm just going to make a few more to show you. It's not too sticky. Um, it's a pretty dry dough. And it tastes really good. And, but we are not done with our eyeballs yet, guys. No way. We have to decorate them. So, that's the fun part. Okay, you can prepare this, and then when you're ready to decorate, call the kids in so that they can help. Alright. 
and some are a little bigger than others, no worries. These don't have to be perfect. Like I said, you could put these in um, cellophane wrappers. You can even attach a cookie or lollipop stick to these and um, put them in a lollipop wrapper. Do these as party favors. Give these out to the trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood. Do these for the, you know, the preschool class or your kids' um, class. All right. Okay, so this makes about 11 or 12 eyeballs. Okay. And um, you can adjust that recipe for them to how many however many you're going to make. So I got my eyeballs, my peanut butter balls all ready to go. And they're right there. And I'm just going to put those in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and get to decorating these scary little boogers. Okay guys, we're back. They've sat for about 30 minutes in the fridge and I've just taken some white melting wafers, uh, white chocolate melting wafers. And um, I have melted those and you can also take white almond chocolate bark um, you, or white chocolate bark <laughs> and uh, you can melt that and then you're just gonna give them a good shake if it's too thick after you've melted it and you find that it's not flowing very easily you can very simply just add um, some shortening okay and that will work to help thin that out um, if you get a little boo-boo it's fine just take the back of your spoon and you can just smooth that right out okay so we're going to coat all of our eyeballs with the white chocolate okay. and then you can even just kind of tap the plate to help smooth those out. And then we're going to take um, an M&M. &M. You can use blue, brown, green. I've got blue, brown, and green that I'm actually using. You can use any color. I've got M&M &M side down. And I'm just going to put that right there on top of the eyeball. And then we're going to place these in the fridge uh, for about another 30 minutes. Let them harden up. We're going to come back and I'll show you um, how we're going to make them bloodshot. So he's been sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes. And I took some Wilton um, food coloring paste. And I've taken red and I've just put it in a little container with about two drops of water. And I've taken a food safe brush. And I'm just going to draw veins all around this little eyeball. Now when you do this technique you're going to think that it's too runny or it has too much water but, but it doesn't. Um, this is an awesome way to do this. It gives a really great effect. I've tried it a couple different ways and I like the way this looks a lot better. Okay. Um, so you're just going to go all the way around him. And you're just going to draw some little squiggly lines. And then you're going to put him back in the fridge for, I don't know, about 10 more minutes. And then uh, we'll come back and I'll show you what they all look like. All right, guys. So there they are. Our super easy, super spooky eyeballs. Um, I hope you try these. They're a great Halloween recipe. It doesn't get many, much easier um, or spookier than this. So try them out and let me know what you guys think. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.